Safe in Arm Devices A device that protects an explosive from accidentally triggering. Safe in Arm Devices, or simply SNA, are used to prevent explosive from accidentally exploding. Explosives are very destructive in most situations, so in order to safeguard against accidental detonation, a system must be put into place to prevent this from happening. The system has to be completely isolated and independent from the system that will trigger the explosive. This is where the SNA device comes in. There are many types of SNA designs, so this video would only focus on one generic type. Ideally, the SNA device should be the only device in the triggering chain that's capable of producing enough energy to trigger the boost explosive and consequently the main explosive. The SNA device accepts the trigger signal from the main system and will either generate or allow the high energy required to pass on to the booster explosive only if a set of physical conditions are met. This could be as simple as a mechanical switch or as advanced as velocity, acceleration, air pressure, time, orientation, or other physical parameters. When in the safe mode, the high energy is physically isolated from the booster explosive. This makes it physically impossible for the booster explosive to be triggered accidentally by the main system. The isolation can be a physical barrier blocking the flow of electricity, air pressure, heat, or light from reaching the booster explosive. When the SNA is placed into the armed mode, a physical path is created between the booster explosive and the detonator that will later trigger it. This can be by removing an opaque barrier in case of laser activation, rotating a conductive material into place in case of an electrical activation, or removing a barrier that will prevent heat and high pressure air from reaching the boost of explosive. Whichever method is used, when the explosive is triggered by the main system, it will now propagate all the way to the main explosive, causing the explosion to happen. 